Hello viewers of Biotechnica. Today's video is all about the United States of America. Yes, today's topic is going to be why is it so easy to go to US for your research? Yes, so why US is considered as the best place forever to do research when it comes to biotechnology or life sciences? What does this US is going to have? Why it's easier for all of them to go to US and pursue their research? So I'm going to talk about the complete thing in detail. What's the advantage of research or what's the advantage of USA conducting a lot of researches? Very specifically, a lot of Indians started going in for uh, postdoctoral positions or PhD positions in US. Why it is so? So there's a long history of excellence in research. Yes, when we talk in case of United States of America, when we talk a very long time back until now, they are literally maintaining the same excellence in the research. So they have a very long history of excellence in the research because you can see a lot of world-renowned institutes or uh, universities and research centers are located at Un United States of America. Not only that, they do have a lot of pharmaceutical companies and biotechnology company. So United States of America is the bio hub, we can say very specifically, we have to talk about that one so because of these reasons uh, most of the people throughout the world wanted to pursue their research or wanted to do their research in the United States of America this is one of the criteria that's why people wanted to go to US and that makes USA very easy for research and the second important thing is it is actually a country which is a home to a large number of leading experts in various fields. So it's not only related only when we talk in case of biotechnology, they have pharma sectors, uh, they have healthcare institutions, they have hospitals, they have many multinational companies also. It's not only restricted to one field, they're very good enough in research in most of the fields and they always have ample collaborations, uh, opportunities for collaborations and networking. So very specifically when it comes to research, collaborating with the other research group and networking with the companies or with the research institution is very important. So you can find a lot of United States of America uh, research institutes or pharma companies or biotech companies usually have a lot of collaborations throughout the world, which makes a better place for everybody to do a research at United States of America. And that's the main reason um, doing a research in the US becomes kind of easier also. The next one, it has a very strong funding system for research, yes. So without a funding, it would be very, very tedious to carry out any kind of research. So when we talk in case of funding systems in US, they have a very strong funding systems for research. When we talk in case of NIH, uh, so they have a lot of fellowships, they have a lot of grants, they have a lot of scholarships also. Grants and scholarships are maximum, like um, we can talk in case of Fulbright scholarships. So there are many scholarships and grants that are available in the United States of America and they have a very good funding system and that's the main reason United States of America is considered as the bio hub, or it's a greater place for doing research also but it do have certain disadvantage but the main thing that makes uh, easier for people who are in the United States of America to do research is following reasons. But getting a position over there, it at times is difficult also. It is another uh, scenario. Also. I'm talking only about why it is so easy to do research over there. So they have a diverse and multicultural population. Yes, uh, you can see people uh, from different parts of the country coming and doing research over there. So it provides a lot of wide range of perspective and ideas when we talk in case of this. So people from India, people from Canada, Germany, and people from China, Japan, many, many people who used to come to a specific place and they used to talk about the uh, scientific problem. So you get to understand the different countries' uh, scientific problem and you'll solve accordingly and you can understand how it actually works. So it's an amazing thing that you can literally go for USA. And large number of scientific journals and conferences, yes. So I would not say that United States of America alone is going to have. This is applicable for most of the countries. Like they do have a lot of uh, scientific journals and conferences being conducted everywhere. But United States of America, a little bit higher than the other one. They usually have a lot of number of uh, scientific journals which will be on the line. And that's the main reason. Uh, they tend to have a lot of opportunity, ample number of opportunities for researchers to share their thoughts and they will be recognized also. That's why you, when we think in case of most of the scientists being recognized are from the United States of America because they have a lot of 
uh, opportunity to publish through the scientific journal and even getting a patent is kind of easier when we compare it with India because in India when you're going to get a patent it takes a lot of time but there it's very very easy and the duration of getting a patent is very much limited and lesser durations also and that makes USA a better place for research also. Next one it's supportive and competitive research environment yes of course there are a lot of um, uh, infrastructures and they do have a lot of research research facilities that are available which makes it very very uh, supportive for any researchers to do o work over there and it's very encouraging and it's innovative and it's very very progressive you can find people who are going re doing research over there will land up in a job or come out to India and getting placed in a very different uh, research positions in research laboratories or they become a scientist in India in a research lab also so it provides a competitive research environment and a very supportive research environment also so and it has a very strong infrastructure. As I already mentioned, they have a very nice infrastructure and resources. Uh, start of the art laboratory facilities and equipment. Yes, when we talk in case of laboratories, the facilities, the equipments, everything is very, very easy enough to fetch over there. And they have number of universities and research institutes. As I already mentioned, when we talk in case of very big universities like Harvard University, Northwestern Universities, there are many tremendous University of Pennsylvania, uh, uh, there are so many universities and research institutions. They provide a lot of opportunities. So this makes a lot of people to get attracted to the United States of America. And when we talk in for researchers, very specifically, not for employment opportunity, flexible visa systems for researchers, making it relatively easy for international researchers to work in the country. So we have a video on a uh, different type of visa. I would uh, talk in that video why uh, research uh, in US I was talking about. So you can check out the video where I'll be talking about the visa also. So getting a visa, J-1 visa or H-1B visa is kind of difficult. But the other system of getting a visa for the international National researchers are kind of easy when you get an opportunity from the US and they provide you an employment facility then it is easy for you to get a visa also except some of the scenarios but most predominantly it's easy enough if when it comes to J1 visa but H1B visa is a kind of difficult and they have a very strong uh, tradition of scientific freedom allowing the researchers to pursue their work without any fear of censorship or repression yes so you've been given a complete freedom of doing your own research so that makes it kind of very easy for any researchers to do work at the United States of America. So these are some of the advantages or some of the reasons that makes USA a very nice place to nice place to do your research over there and that's why it becomes very easy uh, to do your research work at the United States of America but uh, entering into a US and pursuing a research needs a lot of time and you need to uh, work hard too much enough to get a scholarship and get an over there but if you get an over there and then the research becomes kind of easier because there are a lot of facilities available but even though they have a lot of advantages uh, if you are going to be an international student there are some disadvantages advantage we'll be coming up with the next video also uh, just uh, stay tuned for the upcoming videos we are coming with many more videos thank you all of you for joining i'm going to meet you back again with another video thank you all of you